Hello, my name is Greg Bartow and I'm with Patron Associates. Has your disinfectant become ineffective because of your choice of floor mopping techniques? Have you heard of quat binding before? Quat binding, where the positive ions from your quat disinfectant have naturally attracted to and, and bound to the negative ions that you find in your mop head, microfiber or cotton cut end mop head. Let's take a closer look. But first, we're going to take your typical quat based disinfectant. Concentrate, dilute it at one ounce to a gallon of water. It's designed to kill the nasty pathogens on your hard, non-porous, inanimate surfaces. And we've taken this disinfectant solution and have not only put that into a single compartment mop bucket, but also into a flat mop microfiber mop bucket, as well as the Unger Excella one liter refill bottle. Now I've taken some of the solution from the refill bottle and I've poured that into this clear cup here. Now I'm going to add a quat test strip to that solution. Per the manufacturer's instructions for dilution, you can see that I still have the adequate amount or PPM of active ingredient in that, that cup itself. I feel very comfortable that that's that green color I need. But suppose instead that you use a cotton cut in mop head for your floor mopping procedures. Well, as the mop head sits in your single compartment bucket, such as here, the positive ions from that quad disinfectant are naturally attracted to and bond to the negative ions that you see in the mop head itself. So I've taken some of that solution and I've put that into this cup here. Let's add a quad test strip to that one. You can see how that remains yellow. I don't feel very comfortable that I'm getting the active PPM or quad disinfectant down onto the floor surface itself. And what compounds the problem too is that I'm picking up a lot of soil from the floor itself and I'm bringing that back into my single compartment bucket. I don't know if I've got enough active disinfectant in there to overcompensate for that additional bio load that I see. But now suppose instead you use your flat mop charging bucket one that handles not only launderable microfibers, but disposable microfibers. I've taken a little bit of that solution and I've put that into this cup over here. Again, as you can see, it has remained yellow. It's not changed colors. So a lot of the active ingredient, that quad disinfectant, has remained in the mop head itself. More so the case of the nylon content of the microfiber, which is about 20% of the material itself. So let's find a solution for this quat binding. Let's consider Unger's floor mopping procedures and products. First we've got the Unger Excella and we've got the Unger OmniClean. The Unger Excella uses that one liter disinfectant solution on the side of the handle itself which is controllable with this button on top. With the release of the button itself, I can put down fresh disinfectant solution onto my floor surface. But the key really again is I'm putting down fresh disinfectant every time. I just simply need to observe the dwell time or wet time of this disinfectant on my floor surface. Hunger also has an option with its OmniClean, a dual bucket system. Here in this case, I can take my dirty mop head against my board put it into my patented ringer, add my disinfectant solution to it, wring it out again, and then go down to the floor itself. You can see how it's easy to put down on the floor. What I like about both of these systems is that I don't have my disinfectant solution sitting with my mop head. One other thing I'd like to note is either one of these systems can be used with a disposable or a launderable microfiber mop head. So which one would you choose?